No limit in the sky that I won't fly for ya No amount of tears in my eyes that I won't cry for ya Oh no Welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Amira. If it's your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. Let's get into it. I usually take this specific carry-on with me almost everywhere we go. This actually was a coach diaper bag, and I've seen something similar that's like briefcase type coach bags that are so durable. I've had this now for maybe eight years. There are a lot of Louis Vuitton bags that are out as well that people just love and they say you can fit so much stuff into them. But this thing has pockets galore and I just wanna show you what I normally carry with me. First, you want a bag that you can zip close if possible or find some way to close at the top so that things don't tumble out as it goes through airport security because there's nothing worse than having all your stuff fall out. I always keep our toiletries as far as liquids and stuff already bagged up in their own separate bags. Each of us has our own little bag and this is the bag that I prefer to use. I just started using this this past year. Before I always just carried Ziploc bags with me. This is a lot more durable and easy to keep clean. Now. In my carry-on, I normally keep shampoo, conditioner. This time I know I was gonna be curling my hair, so I used this specific hairspray here, and this is really good. It is called the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press, and this is good for humid situations as a heat protectant, and I use it just for a styling spray, and it's nice to find something in a travel size. And then I always carry with me a face wash. This time I use the Checks and Balances by Origins. This is really nice at the beach because, you know, it has kind of a minty feel to it when you wash your face with this. So it's just really refreshing after you've been in the heat all day. I always carry with me lip balm of some sort. And especially if we're going to be on a plane for a long time where your lips are going to be dried out. Or if we're going to be somewhere where we're in the sun a lot and your lips are going to get dry from that. I use SPF, you know, lip balm on the beach, but as far as at night, I always like to have something very emollient to put on my lips. And the one that I carry with me is a strawberry salve, and I'll show you the tin that this comes so in. This is the tin that it actually comes in. I buy this from Sephora, and I've had this one for years now. I mean, and I've barely used any of it, I mean, considering how long I've had it. It cost about $6. There's still plenty left, and I always decant some to put into a travel container. I bought this little set of containers from Amazon. They had a bunch of the little small ones like this. This is the perfect size for eye cream or for lip balm, and then it's really easy to just unscrew, and this is a salve, so you don't have to worry about it running out. I keep it in my liquids. I'm not really sure I have to have it in my liquids, but I keep it with my liquids. The contact lens solution I always bring with me is the BioTrue. Someone at Target one day was looking for travel stuff with me just at the same time, and she recommended this, and she said she's traveled all over the world with it. It always keeps her eyes moist, and I do have a problem with dry eyes as well, so I always buy this now, and it's been great. I also keep this for my daughter's hair. She has very thick curly hair and so this is the bnb super grow it's kind of like a hair grease or hair treatment that's really good to keep your curls silky smooth especially if they've been parched in the pool and the salt water and stuff in the sun so i always put a little of this on her hair when it's damp and it really holds the curl and keeps it from being frizzy people compliment me on her hair everywhere we go and i'm always telling them about the bnb super Girl. And one pot of that stuff will last me at least a year and this is just a teensy weensy bit of it keep an extra set of contacts with me because when i'm swimming under the water i'm always paranoid like what if my contact comes out that's never happened to me in all the years I've worn contacts but just in case so I always keep contacts with me and I keep those in the liquids even though it's such a tiny amount you never know with TSA and then I keep an extra contact lens case with me this is my tried and true origins vitamins high potency face cream and I always like to use this before I go to sleep or if I'm going to be on a flight at all I'll put it on before the flight and then after the flight because it's just so nourishing it doesn't break my skin out now it will break me out in the summer if I use it every day but in a situation where I know my skin is going to be parched this is perfect and I can use it every day in the winter it has like a light citrus maybe orange scent but it doesn't affect my allergies and I just love this stuff I normally decant some, but this was a Sephora 
100 point perk so I went ahead and picked this up for travel and then I also keep my Becca beach tent because this is amazing as far as it's waterproof you can put a few dots on it it's just a liquid and it only takes the teeniest teeniest amount and I'll show you how much I normally use like for my blush you can use this for blush you can use this for your lips as a lip stain and I'll see if you can see that right there but it looks like that and then you, when you blend it out it just blends out beautifully it just gives you a nice flush and a glow but like I said you can use it on your lips you could use it on your eyes they have different colors and it smells like watermelon so I love it this was expensive though I definitely would consider this a luxury purchase like I almost regretted it as soon as I bought it I was like am I really going to use this but I think it'll last you almost forever this was about $30 I believe and I got it probably once before I have one of their sales but it's been a good little investment and it takes up almost no space in your luggage so it's good to have this is perfect for or beach makeup or that no makeup makeup look this is the type of thing that you want okay enough about the toiletries and on to the rest of the stuff that I keep with me of course I keep my cell phone and this is just the iPhone SE and this is in the rose gold I keep this and then I also keep my iPad with me it fits perfectly in an outer pocket and I keep that in this case. This is the thanks case and this thing is amazing. So durable and I've used it so much you can open it up and then it stands by itself and everything. So this has been great to have. I always take this with me for travel and it's super durable. I ordered that off Amazon. I'll try to put a link in for that for you guys. Below. Any of the other products that I have, I'll try to include a link for those. I haven't done that previously, so hopefully I'll be able to figure that out and add links for you guys. I always carry headphones with me, and these are just some little headphones that I got from one of the flights we were on. They always give you free headphones, and I keep my iPhone headphones in here as well. I always keep Q-tips with me. And they have these little containers like this at Walmart or Target. Sometimes they're in blue, sometimes they're in pink, but they're durable. I like to keep those with us. I always keep a wide tooth comb because this is definitely necessary after the pool or the beach. My whole makeup bag, so I keep my cosmetics bag with me. I don't like to put my makeup under the plane because I'm so worried about things getting broken. And I'll do a separate video for you guys just on what's in my travel makeup bag because there's a lot of stuff in this tiny little bag and <laughs> It would take me too long in this video, but I'll just give you a little peep in there so you can kind of see what all's in here. I keep quite a bit, um, I feel like, but I see girls that travel with entire train cases. Now that we're on the kick of we're doing carry-ons only, our life is so much smoother when we're traveling. It has just made all the difference in the world. I bring a brush with me. This is my Hello Kitty, and this is the UK version of the Tangle Teaser, and it comes apart like this. I will tell you, don't make the mistake that I did when we were on vacation. I went to rinse this out just because something was in it. And I was like, oh, I'll just clean it out and not thinking. I let water get down in this hole right here. I didn't think I was ever going to get it out. Um, if you do that and make the same mistake, you can take a blow dryer and kind of dry it out like that. Just blow air into it. But I mean, the water, because it's curved and stuff, I could not get the water back out. And it was running me crazy. So I finally had to do that. But I don't know how to take this apart. If one of you girls has this same Tangle Teaser and you have an easier way to clean this, please tell me what it is. Thank you. I always keep some cough drops with us in case somebody gets sick. Sometimes you can't find cough drops. So I pick these up when we were over in Paris and I just keep these with me. Of course, I keep a pair of sunglasses with me. I normally have matching pairs for my kids. They could carry their own sunglasses, but somehow mommy always ends up with all of their stuff. So I just have little compartments in here for everybody's stuff. I always have a pack of travel tissues. You never know when these are gonna come in handy, especially on a flight or something. So I always have these. In Paris, this was important to have for when you're going to public restrooms because a lot of public restrooms don't have tissues. So I like to keep these on me on a flight. And then also when we get there, we just keep these in our pockets just in case you're out somewhere and there's no tissue. Keep hand sanitizer with me because you never know what you're gonna be getting into and flights are notorious for germs. So I always keep a hand sanitizer. And normally my kids each have one in their bags as well. I keep a deodorant on me just in case something were to happen in my bag. Of course, now we're doing carry-ons, but I still just like to have deodorant with me. I normally keep any medications or vitamins with us. This is a bag of gummy vitamins and probiotics, and I had to put a little note on there that says vitamins so that my husband wouldn't think these were gummy bears and just start eating them because he's a notorious 
candy monster. He loves to get into the bags of candy he finds, and I'm always like paranoid that if I package up the gummy vitamins, he's gonna think they're candy. So I put a little label on him for him. I like to take these little disinfecting wipes, and I keep these with us. My kids take these to school too, just to have in their backpacks, but I always have some of these on hand. You never know when you're gonna go into a restroom and it's gross, so I keep these, and I normally keep, I'm out of them right now, but I also keep in this bag a pack of Lysol or Clorox wipes. You never know when stuff like that is gonna be needed. I always keep a few hair ties with me in case I need to put my hair up on a long flight so that I can sleep. And I keep Dramamine with us just in case one of us gets sick, like if we're gonna be on a boat while we're you know, on vacation or just on the flight itself. Sometimes my kids don't do so well. And sometimes if you're staying at a resort that's a long way from the airport and you're dealing with some crazy driver, which happened to us in Mexico, oh, that's a whole nother story. It's good to have these on hand. If you don't have Dramamine, you can always use peppermint also for motion sickness. This is my little travel first aid kit and I just put together my own little kit of things that we may or you know may not need but I like to have ginger on hand also in case any of us get motion sick my kids and I both are known to be motion sick sometimes my husband's a pilot so of course nothing makes him sick but for us we still get sick on flights during takeoff and landing sometimes and this ginger candy I buy these from Vitacost I mean it's like a few dollars a bag and these are also good for cruises by the way but these work within 60 seconds I mean they're spicy and for kids they're a little bit strong they kind of are chewy like a caramel a cross between a caramel and a gummy and they just have a spicy ginger flavor to them but they are called gin gins and they work really really well keep band-aids with us I always keep antiseptic wipes, alcohol wipes, keep Benadryl with us because some of us are allergic to all kinds of random stuff and you never know when one of us is gonna break out in hives. I always keep an anti-diarrheal with us. TMI, I know, but you never know, especially like we travel to Mexico and stuff and we try not to eat outside of the resort, but you never know with water issues and whatnot what you're gonna be dealing with or food in another country is just too rich or too spicy for your stomach. so. It's good to have these on hand for sure. This is just La Paramide. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I picked these up at the Dollar Tree, but they make a bunch of different ones and I try to always have those in any travel bag that I take. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also normally carry the Dramamine and Chewable Formula for my kids because they don't normally take medicine, so it's sometimes hard to swallow. So I always keep the chewables with us as well. I also normally bring a travel perfume or sometimes I'll do one of my little bath and body work sprays and I'll have one of the smaller containers because you never know when something is going to smell horrible on a plane. Sometimes just the air itself gives me a headache. Um, I normally try to bring something with vanilla in it because it's a scent that doesn't agitate a lot of people. My kids call it my mommy rescue spray because when there's a bad smell, sometimes it can make you nauseous too and the last thing you want is bad smells and then somebody's throwing up. So I always like to have something that smells good just in case. And sometimes if you don't have perfume or lotion or something that can kind of calm you down if you're smelling something that's making you nauseous, you also can just use hand sanitizer. If you have a hand sanitizer that has a nice scent, like a vanilla or something in it, sometimes just smelling that alone will help alleviate the smell. I also normally bring some sort of facial wipes, especially on, if I'm gonna be on a long haul flight. I normally will wear my makeup to the airport or something, and then sometimes I go ahead and take my contacts out and I just wear my glasses on the plane. I forgot to put my glasses in here, but I also bring my glasses. But, and then I'll take my makeup off. I'll use a makeup wipe like this it's just easy to keep with you and then finally of course I always have snacks I don't have a lot in here right now but I always normally try to keep at least one protein bar I like these quest bars and this is the cinnamon roll and my husband normally has got piles of gummy bears and candy and stuff sometimes he'll bring a protein bar but normally everybody looks to me to make sure I have snacks so I bring crackers and things like that. if you have questions about travel just let me know down below and i look forward to seeing you guys soon i will be doing one of the videos on travel makeup only because the makeup i take with me is like a little bit of my ride or die and then it's according to the location that i'm going but i'll do a separate video like i said on that for you guys have a great week bye bye